Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 33 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. You'll notice right off the bat they give us some unit conversion. So it's going to involve measurement and unit conversion. You'll see that there's a, a word problem going on here. And then we've got an answer. And it's not a clear-cut answer, it's an expression form. So we got to remember that we're going to be working out something that gets us an expression, and that expression, if we worked out all the math, would get us to an answer. We don't actually have to do the math, we just have to set it up so that we get something that would actually get us to the answer. It adds a, an extra level of complexity. So, so let's start, let's first just understand what's going on in this scenario. First we'll read it over. It says here, use the information below to answer the question that follows. I'm going to underline that word information. First piece of information. One kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. One hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. Two very important pieces of information that you want to put in your memory banks right now. Let's continue. Mock numbers. I've, I don't really never thought about mock numbers. Mock numbers were invented to report the speeds of jet planes that can travel faster than the speed of sound. A Mach number tells us how many times as fast as the speed of sound the jet travels. For example, Mach 2 represents twice the speed of sound. Well, I never really thought of that before, about Mach numbers and, 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 the, and the speed of jet planes and how that represents the speed of sound. But this is good information that i got to add into my memory banks in thinking about uh, this problem. We go to the next one. A jet travels at Mach 3. If the speed of sound in air is approximately 344 meters per second, which of the following expressions represents the speed of that jet in kilometers per hour? Now these are all expressions, and we're trying to find the expression that if we worked out all the math would get us to kilometers per hour. We'll notice that this is distance over time. That's a rate. So we want to make sure that we come up with an expression which has distance over time. Distance is going to go on the top, time is going to go on the bottom, and it's, in, and it's going to convert these values into kilometers per hour. Now there's, there's a lot of information in the problem. Uh, I'll start with these first two sentences. This, this jet airplane is going Mach 3, and, and that means it's moving three times the speed of sound. So it's three times the speed of sound, and the speed of sound is 344 meters per second. Is that right? Let's think about what this expression means. The three means it's going Mach 3, so it's going three times the speed of sound. And the speed of sound is 344 meters per second. So when we multiply the three times this, this thing right here, this would get us the total meters per second this jet airplane's moving. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's just leave that as this thing right here is an expression that represents the total meters per second this jet airplane's moving. All right, and I want to convert this meters per seconds into uh, kilometers per hour. So now let's see. Let's see if we can come up with a, a way to convert the meters into kilometers. We're given this one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So I'm going to write that out here as one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Now this, what does this mean? This is the expression that converts meters to kilometers. This right here would take total meters divided by a thousand and that would convert total meters divided by a thousand to kilometers. So that's the piece that converts total meters per second into total kilometers per second. But, but that's not enough, right? We want to get total kilometers per hour. Well, how do we do that? We go to this third piece of information, which is one hour is made up of 3,600 seconds. Now I have seconds on the bottom here. I'm going to write seconds on the top. So 3,600 seconds for every one hour. I'm going to put that here. What is that what is that to? Well, these first two tell us how many kilometers per second this jet's moving. And every hour is made up of 3,600 seconds. So 
we've got to take total kilometers per second and multiply it by 3,600 seconds so we get the total kilometers per hour. You notice that the seconds cancel each other out. Let's rewrite this. On the top, we'd have 3 times 344 times 3,600. On the bottom, we would have 1,000. Now, what does this mean? Well, walk it through with me. This part of the expression here gets us total meters per second. This part here gets us total kilometers per second. Th when we add this part in here, this gets us total kilometers per hour. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a lot of there's a lot of math going on here and it is kind of a pain in the neck. Well, I want you to kind of practice this one. Practice this one, set it up and work through the individual parts. Like like for example, just coming up with this first expression that uh, this jet plane's traveling three times the speed of sound. Is that right? If you just knew that it's three times 344 and that distance is on the top and times on the bottom, maybe that's enough to eliminate C and D. Because look at C and D real close. C and D says you take 344 and divide by three, right? And we're not dividing by three in this problem. We're multiplying the speed of sound by three. Is that right? So if you just if you just kind of knew that, that at least that the distance is on the top and it's going to be 3 times 344, you could probably eliminate C and D with a lot of confidence and you'd be left with A and B. At that point there, you've got to kind of work through the math and do the unit conversions, canceling out meters, turning it into uh, kilometers, canceling it out seconds, turning it into hours, and that's a little trickier. That's going to take more practice. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. The answer here is A. A is the expression that would convert meters per second into kilometers per hour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, we're holding workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Happy